Jackson, or excuse me, for the Diamondbacks, they've only hit two home runs in the first 11 ball games, but now that's 10 home runs in the last five plus. Well, the Diamondbacks were getting beat up yesterday. They, they ended up losing to the Padres in San Diego 9 to 5, but they were being no hit by Denelson Lamette into the seventh inning. And then that man, Cole Calhoun, broke it up with a home run. One ball, one strike on the switch hitter, Cattell Marte. A year ago, he had 32 homers, drove in 92, and by the slimmest of margins, lost out on a batting title to Christian Yelich. They both hit 329. You had to go out like three or four decimal places to decide who won that batting title. He lost it by 6,000 defensively. Garrett Hampson again in left field. David Dahl in center. Blackman in right. Arenado's back in there. He's at third base. You knew he wasn't going to be out long. Story at short. Chris Owings getting the start at second. Murphy's back in there. And Tony Walters, his only appearance was late in the ball game yesterday. He did not have a start in the Seattle series. This is the fifth straight lefty the Rockies have seen when they get on offense against Robbie Ray. So Peralta at the plate. To you by Southwest Airlines, Big Heart and Low Fares. Book now at Southwest. Dot com. And here's a look at the Southwest batting order for the Rockies this evening. Garrett Hampson, he'll lead it off again. Trevor Story, Charlie Blackman, Nolan, as we mentioned, had the day off yesterday. Back in there, Murphy's been swinging a great bat. Matt Kemp will DH in bat six. Then it's Dahl. Last couple of ball games down in the lower part of the lineup. Chris Owings, Tony Walters round out the nine that will face Robbie Ray. This will be the fourth start for Ray, an inflated ERA. In his last outing, he wasn't great, but he did get the W against Houston. Five innings, six runs, six hits. He's allowed six homers already in 13-plus innings. Yeah, that's tied for second in the National League. Only his teammate has allowed more, who just went on the IL today, and that would be Madison Baumgartner. I think the key tonight for the Rockies is wait him out, because he doesn't throw many strikes. So 53% of the time. Well, there's ball one to Garrett Hampton. He was an all-star a year ago. As you look at Arizona defensively, they're outstanding with the glove. Ahmed's a two-time Gold Glove winner. Starling Marte is a two-time Gold Glove winner. Calhoun over the American League four times a Gold Glove finalist. Christian Walker last year as a rookie was a Gold Glove finalist. So uh, there's plenty of good leather going around. But to finish that thought about the leadoff situation, you know, the, you don't have the luxury this year of riding out slumps. We knew that would be the case coming in. We've talked about it quite a bit. And unfortunately for the Rockies, they have several players.